Hi, good evening. This is Brad. Today is February 10th, 2022. Greg and I have come out on another adventure. We are in the Sonora Desert, which is about an hour outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And we're on a four day mountain biking trip. Today we mountain biked about uh, 22 miles on the Pemberton Trail. It was a really nice rolling hills uh, up and down. And then the last four miles on the way back was this beautiful uh, mountain bike trail that just went down, down, down and down. So we had the blast just screaming through a lot of turns and it was a heck of a lot of fun. So. There are, it turns out, many different kinds of rattlesnakes that are in Arizona. So we didn't actually see any today, but we stopped by the visitor center on the way in and there's like a dozen different kinds of rattlesnakes. I think this is one of the most uh, diverse set of rattlesnakes in all of the US down here in Arizona. So we'll end up seeing if we see any, but uh, so far nothing out there. But anyway, I'm really excited to be here and we're gonna spend another three days out riding here out in the desert. It was about 80 degrees today, so it was not too not too hot. Um, and it just was a super day to be out riding around. So I will catch you tomorrow. Good evening. Hello, good morning. We are out on day two of our trip here. We're gonna go about 25 miles today and we're going to a historic ranch. We're gonna drive over there and then hit the trail. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be great to hit more of the trail. I feel really good today actually after eight, about 22 miles yesterday. So last night it was exciting. There was all kinds of wild packs of coyotes that are that were near our camp and they were howling with must have been small puppies or whatever you call baby coyotes but uh, I think a few of them might have visited camp at midnight or so I heard heard something out there wandering around so it was pretty cool but anyway we'll catch you down the trail down on day number two we had a blast out there today going around this single track single tracks basically where one bike can pass we went to a ranch called Brown's Ranch and the uh, city of Scottsdale actually acquired 30,000 acres outside of town in order to convert it into a preserve it's just an amazing place and there are a fair number of hikers out there and certainly mountain bikers and even some horses so we had a great time tooling around out there and uh, it was kind of hot and I had a couple of small spills but it was all good and we're kind of living in the lap of luxury here because we actually have a at the camp this mobile truck thing that's out here that has a flush toilet and um, we actually were able to take showers at, at the camp nearby so we're uh, all cleaned up and now it's ready for a little brew and uh, hanging out for the night. So we'll see you later. This here is Bruno Bronson here to pump me up. Good morning. We're on day three out here. We're going on the competitive loop today. It's where the Cactus Cup, which is a competitive race, used to be held in the 1990s. I think we're gonna do 15 to, to 20 miles per day, or today rather. And uh, a couple things that were great on the first couple days. On day one, we actually 
stopped by a couple of cooling huts and one of them was uh, designed as a Zen garden with prayer flags and it was really cool. And then the second one was just this zany uh, crazy hut with a skeleton man on top and a bunch of beers hanging from little chains and stuff. That was really fun. And then yesterday actually we ducked off into this little area off trail with these gigantic rocks that basically created a nice shady area. There were these small like cups that had been uh, carved into the rock on the floor and basically what happened was about 1200 years ago the Native Americans had been essentially crushing uh, grains and corn and such and basically carved out over I'm sure quite a long time these depressions in the rock and so they became natural crucibles for uh, creating different types of things. So anyway, we're off for today and I will see you in a little bit. Good morning to you. We are on day four, our final day out here in the desert. We had a fascinating night. There's really a wide diversity of folks that go on these trips. And one of them is a astrophysicist with NASA. And he did a tour of the stars last night for us and pointed out a bunch of the constellations. It was almost a full moon, so we couldn't see a ton, but his stories about searching for life on other planets was just uh, fascinating. Now there's over 5,000 planets they've identified out there in the universe and I'm sure many to come. Today we're going to be out doing another 15 to 20 miles in some rolling hills. The saguaro cactuses, the big ones that are like behind me right now, it's really interesting because uh, it takes 40 to 60 years be before they start growing their arms and they can live up to uh, 200 years. So the cactus, cactuses out here are really quite amazing. And some of them certainly are pretty gnarly in terms of not wanting to run into them when you're on your bike. So anyway, we'll catch you a bit later. I am loving it out here, kind of in the middle of the group right now. Need an adjustment on my bike, but it is super peaceful and just a fabulous ride going up today. It's about 80 degrees, so I'm grooving on it. See you down the trail. We are just wrapping up the tour here at the end of the day. It was getting pretty warm and hot out here, so I was kind of glad to, to wrap things up. I ended up taking a little spill and got a little flesh wound, but no big thing. And uh, looking forward to getting out here and doing this again sometime, but it was a super time to be out here, and I'm definitely a little worn out towards the uh, end of the day here. But we're getting ready to pack it up and head back. Our guide actually saw a road runner today, but by the time I came around the corner, of course, it was long gone. Anyway, thanks for checking in, and if you're enjoying these videos, then feel free to subscribe and notify yourself when some new ones are coming out, and we will see you next time. Cheers. Bye.